Warning, while this review does contain awesomeness, it also contains spoilers. Check out the book and then come back. To paraphrase Sears, come see the softer side of Mark Millar. Millar is best known for his work on Superman Red Sun, Wolverine's Old Man Logan, and Kick-Ass. All great comic series, but to say the least, they're mature and gruesome in their own way. When Millar watched the recent Superman movie, it hit home for him. In an op-ed he wrote for GamesRadar.com, Millar wrote the following about Superman breaking Zod's neck. This was like seeing Sylvester the Cat finally getting his hands on Speedy Gonzales, Elmer Fudd blowing away Bugs Bunny. I loved Superman as a kid, not because of his edginess or his potential for a fatal solution, but because he could do anything he wanted and still choose to be nice. This was always the moral of a superhero comic to me. Because of this, Millar wanted to try something different for once. He just wanted to write something nice. Bring in artist Raphael Albuquerque and the new kind of hero is Huck. He seems like a simple guy with one goal in mind. Do a good deed daily. Now it doesn't matter if it's something small like putting money in a parking meter so someone doesn't get a ticket or helping solve some kind of international conflict. Huck just wants to do whatever he can. Now we see Huck as a baby left on a doorstep with nothing more than a note saying please love him. Besides a few of his abilities, we don't know too much about this guy. Certain town members seem to know about Huck and his abilities, but people new to the area, they just can't put their finger on what makes him so special. After saving schoolgirls from the group of Boko Haram, someone seems to have leaked his secret to the media. I truly love this book from beginning to end. It's a great change of pace from what's going on in the world and a market full of zombies and bad guys wanting to rule the world. The story flowed perfectly from beginning to end and the actors truly spoke louder than words, meaning there was no useless dialogue. Best of all, the book ended with you wanting to know what happens next. The writing gets a solid 13 out of 15. The artwork of Raphael Albuquerque and the colors of Dave McKaig truly match the tone of the storytelling. The rounded edges and the warm palette complement the story nicely. Art gets a 14 out of 15. Colors get a clear 10 out of 10. Nate Picos of Blamart is responsible for the lettering and I'm a fan of his layouts. Not only are his letters different than most styles in comics, but he also creates fonts for other creators to use. A 5 out of 5. The cover, also done by Albuquerque, embodies the goal of this comic. A person by himself, admiring the small things in life that we often take for granted. A definite 5 out of 5. Giving this book a 94% approval rating. Pick it up and enjoy the read.